Well, good morning, audacious people. Thank you for joining me this morning from sunny Manchester. My name is Matt and I'm a part of Audacious Central. And I get to share with you this morning one of my favourite Proverbs, which is Proverbs chapter 18, verse 24. And uh, have a look at that if you've got your Bible with you this morning. It reads like this. In the New King James Version, it says, A man who has friends must himself be friendly, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. I like it in the Amplified Bible. It reads like this in the second line. It says, but there is a true caring friend who is reliable and sticks closer than a brother. I remember when I was about 18 or 19, I was part of, uh, I was just coming out of a youth group and in my church, there was no guys of my age. And I remember reading in the Bible about Jonathan and David and thinking, I'd love to have that kind of depth of friendship, those kind of relationships that just, that iron sharpening iron and just really um, blessing one another's life. And so I started to pray and I'm thankful that God put people across my path that drew me into a closer relationship with Jesus. But I know this, that I didn't just stay in my corner. I didn't just stay and, and hide where I was. I went out, I found people, I found friendships and I was friendly. Bible says there that you've got to be friendly if you want to have many friends. And so I reached out and I found some incredible, incredible friends who, like I say, drew me towards Jesus. One of these friendships now, I still am in relationship with 20, 30 years later. We're on video call. He's in a different part of the world. And yet we will video call one another. And when we meet, it is such great time that we have together. There's always challenge. There's always genuine, like, how are you? What's going on? There is always what's going on in your life. Is there anything that's offending you? Is there anything that you're struggling with right now? There's some really great questions, but it's always flavored with kindness, grace, mercy, and love in a non-judgmental way. I know I can open up and, and just say, this is where I'm at. This is what's going on in my life. That is the kind of friendship that we are supposed to have, designed to have, and should be having in our great church. I want you to uh, take on this challenge today that if that is not something that you have, that you pray about it, but also you be really, really friendly. When you're in church, don't be the kind of leaving straight away. Take time, have coffee with people, get there early, stay behind, get to know people. But importantly, really importantly, as well as this uh, God friendships that we're supposed to have, it finishes with, as you know, as we've already read, but there is a, a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Let me read it again. There's a true caring friend who's reliable and sticks closer than a brother. That is your savior, my savior, Jesus, who is there for you today, right now, and whatever you're going through. Let me pray for you, church, for your day and for your week and for your life. Thank you, Father. For every listening ear right now, I thank you that you've designed us to be in incredible friendships in Audacious Church. I pray for the listening ear right now that there would be opportunities that come, but also they would take up the challenge today to walk across the room, to be friendly, to smile, to say kind words, um, and to open up the door to incredible God relationships. And for wherever they're at right now, I pray for a relationship with you to deepen in a new way. Church, I pray that you have an amazing day wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever opportunities are coming your way. I pray that you're enjoying your life and um, enjoying church. Have a great day. Love you.